Ah, lovely stuff. Right now, celebrating South African cuisine at its best. And seeing that it's International Women's Day as well, we thought we'd kind of step back and, uh, you know, leave the brying and the cooking to the ladies. Now, joining us today is Anel Portrete, whose lovely face you see on your screen every week. And then also saw the amazing Karen Dudley, a name you might recognize because she's written three beautiful books. She's a judge on the hit show My Kitchen Rules. And of course, because in 2011, Michelle Obama herself chose her restaurant, The Kitchen, for lunch. Viva, woman. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, Karen, Anel, thank you very much for joining us. It's so, so good to have you guys here. And I'm glad we're focusing on something that I consider traditionally South African, mm. snook. We love snook. But, but we always get stuck in making it the same way. So are we going to swap it up or just mm -hmm. change it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to stuff it with little seafood thingies. So when you open it up, you're going to see what the snook ate this morning. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. Snook surprise on the inside. So it's a snook surprise we're making. <laughs> yeah. and, I, and, I, and, I, and I spoke about it this morning, you know, the fact that you're stuffing it with traditional seafood things as well. Yeah. The prawns and mussels that's going to go in there. How we do it, I don't know, but that's why you're here. Cool, so, Karen, can yes. I ask you to mix the prawns? We're going to add some prawns right. inside the belly. I so want to now see how this happens. These are yeah. uncooked ones, yes? Yes, uncooked yes. ones. Uncooked and prawns. Deveined. Got that, and yes. And the heads are off. Very neat. Uh, Somebody's yeah. done some work. Some mussels. Mussels. Beautiful, plump, Lovely fresh. colour. Mm. Isn't it just? Mm -hmm. A bit of dill. Oh, we love the dill. Isn't dill just in the most amazing? I think we should it? save a little bit for garnishing. Yeah. garnishy. Yes. Yeah. Bit of parsley. Yes. Mm. All those flavors. Flavors. Look at all that lovely yes. color. Mm -hmm. And garlic. Yes. Not shy with the garlic, I'm Don't, noticing. Yeah. No. That's the one thing when it comes to snook, you have to at least yeah. use a, yeah. like a, lots of garlic. That makes Can it I nice. toss, toss? Yes, and add a bit of oil in Olive there. Oil. I'm mm. going to season the snook on the inside so long. What is your top tip, Anel, when it comes to snook or buying a snook? What are some of the things that you need to look out for to make sure that it's... Number, fresh and yeah, I think you need to know your um, fishmonger. It needs okay. to be fresh. And I like the heads off yeah. already and clean yes. on the inside. You don't want to clean a snook at home. And that it's opened up like that. Yeah. So you can actually just fill it up quickly. Okay. So, Corin, I'm just going to take this. And mm -hmm. doesn't this look amazing? And we're just going to add this to the inside of the belly of the snook. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Fabulous. Mm. Fabulous. And I'm going to add some lemon pieces. Okay. Like that. And then all you do is you close it up and you put it on a grill and you bry it till it's done. It's about, say, 15 minutes on the yeah. one side, 15 on the other. Or you can put, pop it in the oven if you, you don't do want to bry. Well. Okay. Or just put foil around it and also on the bry. Okay. And look how beautiful that is. And it comes out Nicely beautifully. Nicely oiled yeah. so it doesn't stick. Yeah. yeah, so I wanted to ask, do you oil the skin, obviously? Yes. So yes. it doesn't stick to the grid. And yes. that's it. That's it. And this is the thing, I mean, in terms of the cooking time, how important is that? Because yeah. snook, you, you can, you can mm. either do it perfectly, yeah. or you can go for 30 seconds too long and it yeah. becomes dry. Yeah. Karen, what is your tips on cook? Like, if, how long about? You know, I would be very cautious. I would, it, it, it's very hard to go backwards from mm. overdoing mm. things. Yeah. It's better to slightly underdo things yeah. and trust to the heat that's already in, in the it. thing it will continue. to sort of finish it off. Yeah. I love um, that. Yeah. So I would um, slightly test, and you can see when things are beginning to flake yeah. and fall apart. Mm. And the snook is not thick, yeah. you know, yeah. it's a thin one, uh, yeah. but it is stuffed. So yeah. that does alter the temperature yeah. slightly. And, and but also, you do not rather underdo yes. and fix yes. up yes. than if you're gonna, overdo and then what do you do? Exactly. But if you're going to do it on the braai, uh, obviously a searing hot fire is not the way to go. No, no, no. no. You know, gentle, get, get just gentle. nice heat. Exactly. Listen, if you want to get your hands slow. on the uh, to the recipe and the ingredients list for our Snook Surprise, SMS the keyword FISH to 33728. That's FISH to 33728. And we'll send that to you. You can also check it out on our website, expressoshow.com. Easy as that, something mm. for the weekend, fresh and delicious, but we're not done yet because Karen over here, yes. she is going to be doing something absolutely magnificent to go with our snook, sticking to our beautiful, empowering woman this morning <laughs> and those traditional South African dishes. Stick around.